Excellent. What's up guys and welcome to my Christmas break video. I imagine lots of you guys are on Christmas break right now and I wanted to join in the fun. But first, to clarify, I am not taking a break from making videos. You should still see videos from me in the next coming weeks as December winds down to a close and we bid farewell to 2018. But in the meantime, I wanna do some Christmas breaky type things like playing video games. And then I also have some, some gifts that have been sent over by vendors. So I'm gonna do some unboxings of these real quick. No tech in here, just some uh, things that vendors send at the end of the year to celebrate working together throughout the year. And then of course I also have this giveaway system. So I'm gonna start out actually by doing a quick announcement of the winner for this system, which was given away during the charity live stream that we did about a week and a half ago. Now this system would cost you about $1,000 if you were to buy all the parts and assemble it yourself. And I actually did a video on the assembly of this so you guys can check that out uh, with the parts list as well if you want to potentially build something similar to it yourselves. But it features a Ryzen 5 1600X six core processor with 12 threads, an Asus ROG Strix B450-i gaming mini ITX AM4 motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 3000 memory, a Toshiba RC100 480 gig M.2 NVMe SSD, an EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti super clocked eight gig video card and EVGA 500 BQ 500 watt 80 plus bronze rated power supply all installed in this Rio Toro CR280 mini ITX uh, computer case. And uh, it's, it's a very nice system. Windows is installed on it as well. So it's ready to go for whoever the winner happens to be. Let's pick that winner right now. By the way, if this winner doesn't respond in 48 hours, I will pick a new winner. So you guys can follow up on Twitter where I will be potentially announcing that new winner, but hopefully this winner responds quickly. Drawing winners. For anyone who entered, there were 12,414 entries in this giveaway. Drawing is happening right now. And the winner is Peter. Peter was entrant number 4,293. He is from Minnesota and he has 48 hours to respond to the email that I sent him just moments ago and claim his prize. If he does, then congrats, Peter. If not, I will pick a new winner and maybe one of you guys who entered that contest when it was ongoing has a chance to win. Let's move on to my presence though. They're right here. Let's start off with this box right here, which uh, I have a sneaking suspicion of what is inside. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm kind of suspicious that I know what's in most of these gifts because I've seen a few other people get them, but that doesn't change the fact that it might be edible and I'm kind of excited for that. There we go. This is from Asus. It says, Happy Holidays 2018 from Asus Republic of Gamers. There's a card and some peanuts. Oh, these are delicious. Uh, so this actually is an insert from the chocolates company where this originated from with cafe au lait and matcha. So it looks like we've got some green tea and we got some milk chocolate and we have a lovely, lovely bow. Happy holidays 2018 from Asus. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. So these are all chocolates from Bella Sophia chocolate. Uh, we got hazelnut and chocolate in one. And then we've got matcha, so green tea. I'm guessing these little egg shaped ones are gonna be kind of green tea and they're really pretty. I'm, I'm almost scared to eat these. What? Eat one, yeah. Okay, I don't know where should I start. All right. The pointy one. The pointy one? Yeah. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Shove it down hard. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say I want to save the, the pointy one. Let's. So I'm gonna give one of these a shot. Oh, that's the green tea one. Definitely green tea right there. Oh, that's very good. Green tea can be kind of hit or miss with me, but this is this is actually quite decadent. Do you want one? I'll try a green tea. That shit looks pretty cool. I mean, these are very nice chocolate. Bella Sophia. One more chocolate piece here. This is the milk chocolate before I spoil my lunch. And a big thanks to Asus. Okay. Oh. That's so good. And it's decadent, milk chocolatey. But there's also hazelnut going on, which is delicious. All right, I gotta put these away before I eat the rest. Thank you very much, Asus, for the lovely Christmas gift. Next gift here is from NVIDIA. And NVIDIA, Whenever they send you something, if you're on their vendor list, you get some emails that say, hey, you got a shipment coming from NVIDIA. And it can often be something really fun, like, you know, Founders Edition graphics card or something like that. I already, again, know what this is, because I saw Kyle open his. But that's not at all to detract from the thoughtfulness of the gift, uh, because NVIDIA has once again sent us a lovely Christmas ornament. So I was, I was curious if this might light up because Corsair actually sent an RGB Christmas ornament last year, uh, which, which was kind of cool. This one doesn't light up, but um, you know, it's keeping things classy. And we've got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX logo on one side and then sort of a snowflake design on the other side with, uh, with graphics cards sticking out, presumably RTX graphics cards. And then in between the graphics cards, you actually have a little uh, NVLink 
SLI bridges for the next generation of cards. So I will be hanging this on the tree, adding it to my other NVIDIA Christmas ornament. And thank you very much, NVIDIA, for sending this over. It will, it will, it will be part of the family tradition when we decorate the tree for years to come. Final vendor gift here, I already opened and I kind of already broke. So I'm sorry I didn't record when I broke it because it would have been at least, you know, fun to include in a fail video or something like that. But this is from MSI. And fortunately, the thing that I broke, they sent two up. So I have a backup as well as possibly the opportunity to fix it uh, with maybe some super glue. But we actually have a bonus item in here as well. So let's start off with this elongated box here. Joe thinks it might be a wand, which which would be cool. I mean, a magic MSI wand. It's a shot glass set. Are you gonna take a shot of each one right now just to make sure they work? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. So we have a set of shot glasses. Uh, we should, we, I guess maybe we should integrate these onto the live show. These are featuring all of MSI's new series of motherboards, which are MEG, MPG, and MAG. So over here on the, on the MEG side, we have MEG is MSI Extreme Gaming. Uh, we got the Godlike as well as the Ace. Uh, for MPG, which is Performance Gaming, we have just MPG by itself as well as the Edge. And then, oh, we also have the, what is that one? Ah, that's, that's Gaming Plus right there. Gaming Plus, and then finally, <laughs> damn it, Joe. <sighs> Sneezing. And then finally over here, we have the MAG Tomahawk, which is actually a very solid board if you're interested in a slightly less expensive board from MSI. So thank you, MSI, for the shot glasses. We'll add them to our shot glass collection and then perhaps take drinks out of them on our live show in the future. And now we have these two, which again are identical as far as I can tell, except for one that is broken. Thankfully, I chose the unbroken one to open right now so I can pretend it like everything was fine. Here we have Lucky, the MSI Dragon. Oh no, this one's broken too. Oh no, his his wing broke off. Lucky, what an unlucky thing to happen. It's all right, this can be repaired. Oh look, I can just stick it like that. There, everything's fine. So here's my other lucky dragon. And this this one I actually unboxed, took it out. It was like, oh cool. And then I was putting it away. I had it in this side like that. Uh, and then it's got two little horns on the top. And this took a tumble and landed upside down. And then the horns broke off. You can cough, Joe, it's okay. <coughs> Poor Joe. Joe's sick, he still came into work today though. So uh, rip my Lucky Dragon phone holders. They are still functional as fo phone holders though. That's that's really all it's made for. Lucky holds your phone, like that. That's a good job. Um, the only thing, I would say functionally, the only downside to these phone holders is that it, it would block, if you are if you had a connection on the bottom for power charging or whatever, it would kind of block that. Other than that though, it's very cute, so. Um, when you watch a movie. Oh yeah, I guess I guess you could do it like that too. So he could hold it, Lucky like could hold the, the phone for you while you watch a movie. That makes sense. And then plug in from the side. Very smart, Joe. Perhaps that's that's what the way these were designed. It's on the box too. Oh, it's got the outline of it. Look how perceptive Joe is. Taking advantage of the fact that he can see the boxes from his angle, and I can't. <laughs> so. Same the fact that you opened it before and dropped it on the Stop <laughs> pointing out facts to people. Our next package arrived a little late, and if I look different, ignore that, ignore everything. But this is from Zotac, uh, so I wanna say a big thank you to my friends over at Zotac, uh, Chinny and Boo, and I am pretty sure this is something that I can eat, which I am excited about because I'm kind of hungry. I want this open. Packaging is very confusing. Aha, there we go. So we have Happy Holidays from Zotac Gaming. This was made at the Mech Ultra Holiday Factory, a special Zotac cookie. Oh, look at that, comes individually wrapped. I believe this is an RTX series, gra yeah, one of their new RTX graphics cards, uh, which which looks just delicious. Let me open. Oh, a little cellophane packaging here. And there we have it, a Zotac RTX 2080 Ti. I imagine this is an amp edition, amp extreme, and it's triple fan cooling, as well as some RGB lighting going along there as well. But how does it taste? I'd say the only thing it's missing is a backplate, but uh, it does appear to be a very power efficient model as it has no supplemental PCI Express power connectors. Taste test though. Oh. So I guess to sum up my review of this Zotac RTX 2080 Ti cookie, uh, it's very good, it's quite delicious, uh, but I'm hoping that the ray tracing performance might improve when they release a patch in the next month or two. Okay guys, I have one more package here, a late arrival. This one's from Corsair, and inside 
we have several other boxes. So here's what was included in the box. It is a Corsair coffee kit. We have a Happy Holidays card with a Corsair LL Series fan on the front. Thank you very much for the warm holiday greetings. We have coffee, of course, the RG Bean mix from Madrina's Coffee with vanilla, dark chocolate, and blueberry. This coffee will, of course, increase your organic frame rates, improve your natural boot times, and is flavored with sweet, sweet RGB. You'll want something to drink out of, so we got a nice Corsair mug with the Corsair fan. I've got fans on the side, that's pretty awesome. A coffee grinder included, since this is, of course, whole bean coffee. Corsair wouldn't, you know, presume to send us pre-ground stuff, that would, that would be horrible. So we got a coffee grinder, and then this, which is a really awesome uh, coffee press, actually. As you can see, coffee press inserts there, and uh, it's actually insulated and everything, and it's got the Corsair logo, so that is really cool, too. Thanks for the coffee kit, Corsair, Merry Christmas. And those are the vendor gifts that I have been sent this year, thus far. Uh, there might still be stuff arriving. I'm never 100% sure who's gonna send me stuff, and I never expect it, but I'm always happy when it arrives. So now I have uh, given a gift, kind of, with the giveaway drawing. Uh, I have received some gifts, uh, so Christmas break video is going quite well. I think there's one more thing that I wanna do on my Christmas break, that's play video games. So here's what I'm gonna do. When I post this video, I am going to start a live stream on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Paul's Hardware, and I'm gonna play video games for like a couple hours, so I should probably be doing a live stream right now if you're watching this video within the first hour or two that it goes live. So I'll post a link to my Twitch channel down in the video's description. Hop over there and join me and say hello. I'm just gonna play some Overwatch and who knows what other games uh, for a couple hours, and I welcome all of you to join me, say hello, and uh, maybe spread the holiday cheer as we move into the final week prior to Christmas. I hope you all have finished your Christmas shopping. I have not. I should do that too. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing a few of the vendor gifts that have been sent my way this year. And of course, if you have the chance, join me for the live stream and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys have planned for your Christmas break this year, whether you're going to be playing video games or building computers or just hanging out and drinking hot chocolate or something. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.